Hi dear friends, I am asked to give you a short introduction to the Dowland massage program. That is not about the massages that I normally give to people, but about the massage program as I teach it to people. And this is specifically in regard to what we do in our bachelor program, but also as individual courses and workshops for people uh, on any place on the planet that I am invited to. First of all, let me clarify, there are, in Chinese medicine in general, there are hundreds and hundreds of kinds of massage. And I am going to try to explain to you a little bit about our program, and then I explain a little bit about their technique, so that you have a good idea about what these massages can do and why. And I will start at the bottom. At the moment, when you look at massage, you can say, okay, there is the more practical, physical massages, and there is the more esoteric kind of massages. Taoist massage, Taoist uh, medicine in general, uh, contains all these different kind of techniques in the massages. And I teach all these different kind of massage techniques because I have been studying with a lot of different kind of teachers all over China and uh, have been practicing all these things also for myself. And I have been using this in my client circle to test out if these are actually really valid. And some techniques that I've learned, I think they are not that very good and some are average and some are really excellent so in the techniques that i teach i think that certainly the combination of all these things but also individually each they are actually really pretty good in uh, achieving results even for a relatively mediocre therapist first of all you have to understand in the learning process the first thing that you have to learn in chinese massage techniques always is a formula a formula of treatment where you address most general problems because most general problems are actually generally easy to solve but still there's a sub subclassification of diseases and of problems so let me start with using that kind of classification as a foundation and the first thing is to practice to exercise of course everybody knows about qigong and tai chi chuan uh, but one of the massage techniques that I learned is called um, massa Qigong massage. And Qigong massage is a method that Taoists use where they massage themselves by patting, rubbing, uh, squeezing and so on and so on to make the, the qi and the blood of the body flow properly but also to repair their hair if they want or their face and they have applications in all kinds of things like for instance in beauty massage in uh, general health care and so forth and so forth so a lot of the techniques that you find in this exercise program you will find back in later techniques so um, the whole body is being stretched in these kind of massage they can be done seating standing and so forth and so forth and you can do them as a group and you can do them individually in a beautiful place in nature and you will feel great so this is uh, one method that is usually a foundational massage technique that I like to teach to people uh, and they come in three different kind of variations. So that means that if you are practicing this, you're not every day doing the same, but you do three different kind of massages with every time a different focus. Like one is on the whole body as a whole, one is more on the face and one is more on the hair. There's also massages for your hands and for your feet. So that's a big range in just self-massaging and uh, do this in a qigong way now that is a very important part the next one is what you usually could call uh, tun ha massage and everybody knows about chinese massage you have oil massage and you have uh, mobilization massage that means uh, they call it usually tuin ha, pressing and uh, pulling but the tun ha massage is uh, called uh, shaking and pushing and as a result of that, the method is a little bit different. In general, we say in Chinese massage, there are eight hand techniques. And each of these eight hand techniques, individually, they are the source of a particular kind of branch of massages. And this technique, this, uh, this uh, turn down massage, is focused on shaking. So a lot of the techniques are based on shaking. And the basic principles of this is Tai Chi theory. And in Tai Chi theory, you try to continuously polarize things in a way which is uh, useful uh, because it helps you to charge yourself and also to make sure that you don't get too tired from doing a massage and that you fix your hands so that you don't damage your hands at the same time and at the same time it also allows you to grow more uh, aware of what is happening in your client's body so this is a very important part and that means that you try to understand because of these massage the whole structure of the body and that is what you actually use in a massage technique and although there's things like petting sne squeezing 
uh, knocking and so on and so on. The root technique is uh, shaking and vibration. And this is a very different part than what you normally see in massage techniques. And it's definitely a good extension from understanding Tuina. But Tuina is more an addition to Tuna than the other way around. And I learned this technique specifically in Taoist monasteries where Kung Fu masters, Kung Fu students, uh, they were using this to help each other uh, to recover from uh, a little bit wild practice that day. Uh, so that the next day they could go practice again. Because in the monastery we practiced 8 hours, 9 hours, 10 hours a day. And that was normal. So that means your body is really being worked very hard in these conditions. And the next massage, of course, everybody knows this is oil massage. And you can really see that the difference between mobilization through Chana or Twina and oil massage is huge. Because the... Uh, oil massage, although it feels very nice and relaxing, it is not going very deep, but it does help to make your blood circulate in a particular kind of way, so that it's very good for, for instance, solving things in your glands and in your muscle and your blood circulation, so that everything starts going smooth and it helps you to fix your skin, so that your skin becomes of a better quality. Um, at the moment, when you practice this on a frequent basis, you start also noticing that the outside form of the body is actually very important because people very often, they express on the outside uh, a lot of different kinds of problems. And the point of the oil massage originally is to get a proper understanding of what is going on in somebody's body, of what is going on in somebody's body, so that you can fix that. And at the moment, when you can fix that, then, you know, a lot of problems are going to be resolved. So you can see that the uh, oil massage, uh, what is called Ammo, and the uh, Tuna or Tuena or Tuna Tuena, what I sometimes say, these are um, together they form a unit. And that means that you can't mix them, although in some case you can. Um, in a full massage you can do that, but um, and normally you won't fix them, uh, mix them because it makes it easier to get a clear result. Then the, th the fourth kind of massage that we have to talk about is what we call uh, the more esoteric kind of massages where you are learning to first sense on the internal of your own body and you start learning on your own interior body how the structure of the internal organs is and similar like that also for your channels and at the moment when you get to that point that you can start doing that in a safe way that you do not make yourself sick and at that moment you're going to go to the next step in your training so it takes a long time or, and then at that moment you start using the magnetic field of your opponent to massage that magnetic field and to go inward in the body and to to help the other person to regulate the movement of yin and yang inside the body uh, to you know make things work better and communicate better so that people are, can help to uh, live longer lives. But for this, you really have to get a lot of more background information. And for this kind of massage, I usually advise the bachelor program that we do because that bachelor program includes all these kind of trainings so that you can combine it with breath work and so on and so on to really get a full picture of how Chinese medicine sees the human body at work. That is basically on your most academic way of practicing in the Chinese medicine system from the past. That is not done in the present because in the present everything is done in a Western materialistic kind of way. And as a result of that, there is no vision of the human in the massage and, and the body is seen as an object. So in this case, we really see that we are growing from the individual towards the client, from the client towards the individual, and we are forming a holist whole. And that is the whole purpose of the massage program here in the Daoland program. And I want to talk to you specifically about the Tuna massage. Tuna massage is a massage technique that is relatively easy to learn in the basis, and it has many therapeutic applications uh, on the long term of these kind of techniques. And first of all, Tana is part of what you can say is the continuum of Chinese massage techniques. And every city, every area, every state, they have different kind of variations. And usually for Western and modern Chinese purposes, they're being uh, collected under the name Tuina or they're collected under the name An Chao. And An Chao basically means uh, massage. At the moment, when we look at the uh, Tuina massage, uh, it is not necessarily part of uh, Tuina, but Tuina and Tuna, they are part of a continuum which is revolving around what is called hand grips. Yes, and Mingmen is in the middle. Mingmen is in the middle. 
That means that this one is closer, right? Because we move in the middle. Mm -hmm. Then you spread out your hands while shaking. Shaking, shaking. Yes. It's the same rhythm. Even, even. Yes. And then you go outward. A little bit more. A little bit more. But press down, right? Because mm -hmm. you have to really press down. You have to take control. The Lao Gong has to be on the vertical. Mm -hmm. Lao Gong is here. Vertical is here. Yes. Yes. It has to become second nature. And press outward. Press outward. Then you could do one more time. Now you can start from here because you don't have to. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Don't panic, don't panic. Slowly. Bigger, bigger move. Big, no, no. Bigger this move. one, bigger move. Oh, this one. Yes, too not too fast because then now you're upsetting him. Okay. Yes? <coughs> you, you remember I said something about Chinese massage? That they all the time try to torture you? Uh -huh. That's this. No, 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 no. Now you're rubbing. rubbing that. it's, not, okay. it's not the same. Yeah. Uh, when you put the hands out, mm -hmm. you put the hands out, you press with Lao Gong on the vertebrates, right? Mm -hmm. And you press outwards. And you move. No. You start actually first moving forward and backwards. Not too fast, not too fast. Just follow my line. See? Calm. Mm -hmm. yeah, like the calms of your heart. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you press out. So just press out. What are you doing? Just press out. And then you go out. Yes. Hand grips, uh, these are techniques like knocking, squeezing, shaking and so on and so on. And these techniques, they are being used in a particular kind of therapeutic setting. And when a particular method has the overtone in that particular technique, then at that moment it becomes the um, name of the massage. So when you talk about Tuena, you talk about pushing and pulling. And when you talk about Tuena, you talk about pushing and shaking. So. That is different, of course. And at the moment when we are doing this technique, then you see that the moving of the body by pushing and the shaking of the body by all kind of means is the central tenet of this massage technique. So when you are going to learn this method, then at that moment you have to learn to develop the sensitivity of shaking. And shaking is not a matter of just shaking roughly, because that is usually causing also shock in the body. As you maybe know from Chinese medicine studies, when you shake too hard, you are causing fear and fright in the kidneys. And as a result of that, the chi in the blood will become scattered. So the learning how to shake in the appropriate way, that is a large part of the study of Chen Na massage. It is considered by many Taoists as one of the secrets of Chinese massage. And as a result of that, many uh, Taoists, they use this as a technique to recover each other, help each other recover from uh, the effects of uh, Kung Fu practice when they have been doing hard work or when they have been uh, walking a long time in the mountains looking for herbs or something like this, because they need that kind of recovery. So you can clearly see in this that the purpose of the Tsana massage is to reawaken the body. So this is one of the things that is there. As a therapeutic process, you can see that a lot of different kinds of diseases, they have as a root, they have this idea of uh, repairing damage or uh, re re relaxing a muscle or something like this. But in uh, Tsana massage is reawakening the body is more important. That means that the massage means to help you open and relax the body so that your vitality can be replenished very easily. A large part of the massage is revolving therefore around the working of the joints. In Chinese massage and in Chinese medicine in general, the idea is that the muscles are not hanging on the bones like we say in Western biology, but that they say the bones have to hang inside the muscles. So we have to learn about that too. So for learning turn massage, we also have to learn to stand in the proper way. And at the moment when you stand in the proper way, then at that moment you start noticing like, oh, so this is what my body can do. And this is where the concepts which are central in Chinese massage uh, like Jing, Qi and Shen, uh, they come from and they are going to uh, be applied to the body. The person has to become more conscious, uh, the person has to have better functionality and the uh, body has to open itself to create its maximum potential as a form, as a active body. Activation of the body through the shaking and the massage and all kind of other techniques that are also of course required, then at that moment that is the purpose of the technique.
then at the moment when you have been training yourself properly then at that moment it becomes much easier to apply these techniques because you understand much more about the subtle aspects of the body uh, i was studying at a certain point with a chinese massage master and he was uh, doing a tuena and he said you can't learn tuena without learning hard kung fu so he was practicing hard kung fu every day to be able to do tuena properly when i was uh, learning with somebody who was studying ammo and was teaching ammo ammo is also one of the massages but their gentleness is very important and this gentleness had to do with a lot with the way how you have to function socially and emotionally about all kind of things so for him uh, it was important to involve people in all kind of social activities so that they would understand the subtleties of human interaction at the moment when they are going to massage so this is the kind of thing that from all time onward belongs to the different kind of schools of massage and as a result of that uh, we are going to spend time in learning about this and these different kind of schools also in the process of learning this kind of massage because it is important to know these things um, then one major thing uh, is not just the bones but it's also the joints so a lot of techniques inside the tsuna massage are pointing towards the recovery of the space of the bones a lot of people they have all kind of problems because of the way how they exercise the way how they live in general uh, the way how they eat and their joints are going to be stuck together so a large part is about unstucking the joints and for this is not enough to just manipulate the joints but you have to manipulate the whole body to achieve that so the whole point of the massage as a holistic technique is therefore to manipulate the whole body to achieve that kind of development as it is and in combination with uh, Amo in that sense there are all kind of techniques to also help restore the young and the blood and so on so then you can go further and further until eventually you get to the point where therapeutic application becomes unavoidable to study so that is long-term study right so at the moment when you start you first start learning to do massage as a formula that means that you learn to deal with the whole body you learn the qualities of the body and you learn how to relieve the body and then you see that for normal use uh, in most clinical practices physiotherapists or uh, massage therapists with Chinese massage this technique can resolve about 60% of all the problems there is also a chair massage variation of this and what i found in companies where this method was being introduced while also the other technique where people are having to lie down on a chair um, when people wanted to escape their work they chose for this technique but at the moment when they really had a therapeutic issue that needed to be worked on like for instance uh, stiff neck stiff shoulders or headaches or all kind of other things that relate to work then the technique that we do in the turn massage is actually preferred and that the reason for that is very simple because in the technique a lot of tension is being released and being let go and as a result of that the body feels much better so i hope this video explains you a little bit about the Tsana massage I look forward to see you in any of the courses that we have there is another video that explains all the other massage techniques that we have in the course these are not all part of the bachelor program per se but you can make them part of the bachelor program per se so that you become a massage specialist and then at the moment when you go further and you go into the master program then at that moment you start working on the therapeutic level with massage so that you actually can excel in massage as it is when this course is being given at other schools then of course that part is responsibility for the other school um, unless when we make an arrangement that they uh, they're going to be a shared responsibility and then it is going to be of course uh, a little bit of a different way but in learning how to do this massage the basic techniques are the most important ones because you can combine them and recombine them with every other technique there is uh, to make sure that the other techniques require less work and that they also require mass, less damage for your hands because this technique is very good in helping you to recover your hands and to make sure that your body doesn't become tired from all the work that you normally do in massage especially when you work long days and you all the time have to lift up people and throw them around and so on to make sure that they feel better the technique is based on all kind of Taoist techniques and in as such on a theoretical level we can basically classify these methods under what is called Tai Chi massage so that means that the Tai Chi principles that are being discussed in all the Chinese medicine classics are still part of this these 
theoretical frameworks. They are gone in modern Chinese massage, unfortunately, but uh, they can be brought back through a simple technique like this. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and that the information was useful for you and that we can work together in learning and teaching and that will be really great. I look forward to hearing from you.